TJ Sharp MC. Live, 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 live. Back on the track. All right. <clears throat> let's, uh, let's make a beat. Nothing yet. I slow that down. What is it? It's 138. <clears throat> 138. So let's do process time stretch. And I was thinking 138. I wanted to do like a 122. <clears throat> like a UK kind of housey, garagey, slow kind of thingy. Jungle vibe thingy. I don't know. We'll see what happens. So we put that on 122, so we got to put this on 122. And then uh, it is this, that one. No, it was that one. <clears throat> All right, so that's kind of busy. <clears throat> but let's... Uh, Let's put it on note off. Let's check the sample. If we put it on note off, we should be able to loop it, right? What happened there? Note off, sample. Always remember when you do time stretch that sometimes it, it shortens it. So you got to pull it back out. I don't know why it does that. And I don't know why it's not doing loop. Oh, do I have to do loop on the sample? Well, I have to do loop on the sample before I can do loop on the pad. And I don't know why the BPM is wrong. I already stretched it, dude. All right, so let's put it on loop. And I think loop is here. All right, so um, I want to do some fancy stuff, but I don't want to mess up this beat where I want to edit this wave, but I'm not, I haven't practiced my audio enough. So maybe I should copy it. Um, hmm. <coughs> All right, maybe we'll just start basic because I don't want to spend too much time getting crazy with it. So let's go. So that sounds like four bars to me. And we'll, <clears throat> we'll mix it up later. But let's, uh, let's just drop it with four bars real quick. Uh, that didn't work. First got to remember to arm your record because these days it'd be coming in and out and second there was a serious delay so I don't know what that was about
Is there a delay on this pad? Whoa, that's trippy. So let's go to the program edit, samples, everything's normal. Everything's normal. Uh, okay, that's. That's trippy. I was just testing it to make sure it was recording because, uh, all right, so let's check everything. Start. Oh, that's what it needs to be on 16th. Dude. Um, okay, so that's on 16th. And then it sure sounds like it's starting late. I don't know why it feels like it's starting late. That's so weird. Um, uh, you're gonna start giving me drama already. All right, so I'm, I'm not gonna play with you. You wanna, you wanna have a party? We're gonna have a party. We're gonna chop you, bro. You're gonna mess around with me. Process. Discard. Do it. Now it's a short loop. Alright, so then, since you want to be a pain in the butt, Don't mess with me, dude. I'll discard everybody. All right. So now. Okay. So it sounds a little fast. And then why does the tail sound a little long? This is where the new feature comes in handy. And is it on program page sample? It's on the program page. So if we put the tail here, why is it dragging? Oh, dude, I had it on note off. It's supposed to be on note on. Dude. That's tripping. Getting so many features, getting ahead of myself. All right. <clears throat> so now I should start on time. All right, and then I should be able to fix my loop. And it's still starting kind of spacey. And then if I have tail, you know what? This is uh, I don't know if I can chop it in half. That's what I'll do. Mess with me. All right, <clears throat> we'll do this by hand. Oh, I got to fix that ending. 
or actually I'm going to cheat and put this on two bars and then double it. I don't know if that's going to come out. All right, so if we keep that like that, what we can do is we can mask it. We can mask that last piece with something. It'll be this. And sample edit process. It said 127. No, not delete. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Process. Time stretch 127. 12200. Do it. Do it. So now we'll mask that other one with this one. And to make sure we're all on the same page, let's uh, go to the sample. Put it on note on because I was screwing around messing with that. Remember, you got to slide it over when you time stretch it because sometimes it doesn't loop right. And let's just hear it real quick. And let us drop it over the top. All right, I think I held it too long. All right, so I'm going to keep that. That'll be like my top loop. And then I'm trying to debate if I can erase. Oh, no, I can grid edit. I can grid edit that other one. That's why I love this NBC. It rocks. And because I can go to the first track, go to grid edit, and then I can try to see how to how to improve this piece. So it's right there. So here, what do we want to do? Do we want to cut it? So let's, let's um, think what we're going to do. Shift, cut, oops. We're going to undo. We're going to try to see why it's showing me the whole thing when I only want the piece. I wonder if we can so that sound oh I can do a live edit yeah I did this last time so you hear the sound here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come to my effects for that pad and we'll make it obvious. We'll do an air delay like that. So then we'll do, let's find a good delay first. That one. Okay, so that's a good delay. Now we're gonna put it on record, sort of record what I do. Go to program edit, turn it off, and then we're gonna record it. I'm gonna hit overdub just to be safe. So let's do it. Let's see if it works. Hmm. So I won't be able to do it doing off on. So then we'll have to do it here. So 
so let's see so it's mix i think it's mix all right so i'm gonna do the same thing but i'm gonna do it from here All right, so there's a lot of work. Let's see if it was worth it. Let's do it solo. All right, so all that work to get this. All right, cool. All right, so that's that. And then I think to give this thing some variety, we're gonna bring in a plug-in because we got all those cool sounds. And I got all these cool progressions. Oh, what did I add it? I added some stuff from Musician Paradise. Uh, let me load it. Cause he, he dropped some bass expansions or something. Um, places, vault. Was it sequences? What did I call it? It was Musician Paradise stuff. And I was like, oh man. Oh, I put it in downloads. Okay, so it's got chord based key groups and ARP patterns. So let's get an ARP pattern. Let's just do a piano ARP pattern. We'll load that. And then he's got this one. Pads. Oops. Well, I just loaded a bunch of stuff. I think I loaded the whole, yeah, I loaded the whole program for bass. All right. Well, then might as well load the key group one too, since we're at it. There's a, it's a program, right? Program. Load. All right. So these are Musician, Musician Paradise. And to give him like homage, because he produced a lot of, really cool progression chords i'll play some of them for you and they're free on his website i did a video about it a while back but just search for musician paradise and chords and you'll find some really good stuff so some of the chords he gave me are you can download from his site um where is it at it's under other so it's all of these and they're really good i'll just just pick one <laughs> I don't know what track it is, but here's another one. Almost every one is good progressions. What else? What else? Um, let's do another one from his pack about Robert Glazer. Find me maybe a better sound. That might be in the especially since we've got all these sounds. Uh, I think I heard some really cool Mellotron stuff. So let's do I'm partial to the strings, but I don't know if I heard any of that were Alright, let's uh let's load this one. So that's the chord. The chord of the violin. So that's that, and in the chord progression, let's find a good one, or find a different one. Uh, what's this one?
don't know what to play. Let's just drop something. Oh, make sure we're on the right track. I'm all over here. Track three, plug in, Melicon, violin. All right. All right, so we'll just drop something. track sounds kind of kind of lame i'll save it as a uh, melody one and we'll we'll store it away for some future future mix scenario all right let's see if we can find a a different hype instrument because i think I, I need something a little oops uh we'll alter both of them let's cancel let's add a new plug-in why does it say four plugins i got other plugins Mellotron Violin, Odyssey Bass, Hype Ambient, and Tube Synth. So let's go to Hype Ambient. And pick a different chord group. How about this person? Mm, I don't know. I don't hear anything there. Not hearing nothing there. No, I don't think that works. At least the hype sounds pretty serious. That's pretty staccato accent. All right, so we'll keep that sound. Let's go to uh progressions not well actually i could put it on b b flat b flat minor I like b flat minor natural minor and then for progression we'll do henry Wu. You can tell I haven't been making videos because I'm rusty. Oh, man. That sucks. Oh, well. Guess that's how it is. Um, We're going to go for something a little more. See? There we go. Okay, so what I do here is I like this riff. I like the way it sounds. And then what I do is I copy the track. And we'll call it riff one. Do it, do it. Okay, so we have this one here. And then what I do is I go to the new track and let's go to the other plug-in, the two. Now let's play it with two and just see what happens. Let's try a different instrument.
try a different instrument. All right, so that was fun. I'm gonna keep it too. All right, so now we have to go to the other plugin. We got one is on there, two is on there, three is on there, four is nothing. And I loaded that stuff from Musician Paradise. So I think it was key groups, right? So let's go to key groups. And we have F9. This is the one from Musician Paradise. That's another one I think from Musician Paradise. So, um, it's a weird kind of sound effect. But I think I can work with it if I if I truncate it. So first let's kill the riffs. So I like the way it sounds. So now I need to put an effect on it. And let's just put uh we have new effects, so let's find one of them. Pumper's one of my favorites. But let's see if we can find stutter. I need to remember where it is because I'm always losing track of these stupid things. That's it's kind of sick when you gotta have, you know, so many functionality, so much functionality. You can't find what you're looking for because it's too much. It's pretty sick. ARP stutter. That's what I'm looking for. Air stutter. <laughs> effect but I can't really it's not distinctive enough kind of nice when you have so much functionality oh let's see if half speed makes sense here I don't think it will but let's find out <laughs> First time I've ever had uh, the effects not really improve the, the sound. Let's try something familiar. This is familiar. <laughs> Wow, I guess in this case it's a pretty complex sound. Hmm, interesting. All right, so then let's start some basic stuff. Just to. Oh, I know it might work. Um, some kind of stereo thing. Yeah, and there's a stereo plugin. That doesn't sound stereo for some reason. I gotta... It's making me question my setup. That's not good. Oh, ping pong. That might be more obvious. 
Alright, I gotta check something because uh, this thing is making me wonder if it's actually running in stereo, which is weird. I wonder if there's something going on with the plug-in. Alright, let's check something real quick. We'll leave that where it is. I'm gonna go to a new track. And I think I loaded some stuff. What did I load? Piano riff. I need a different sound to play that. All right, so this is piano riff. Nothing there. It's supposed to be an art pattern. It's supposed to be an art pattern. Oh, I need to put a sound. Um, uh, let's do E group. And then it's a piano riff. Oh, when you do these, sometimes it comes in and it's really weird and it doesn't load the whole thing. It only loads the first part when you load MIDI, so you got to come up here and make this all the way. That's a good riff. Um, okay, let's try it with my violins. I think it needs a pad. So let's do, uh, is it Odyssey? Let's do, so I need to come here, make a new one, go to Odyssey, try it. Oops. Just switch pads, man. Odyssey. Okay, bit of better instrument. Out of bass. Uh, what do we got? Pads. Let's go through the pads. Uh-oh, this whole time I had record on? Not very smart. <laughs> yeah. Cool to show, but I'm gonna save, cause <coughs> this thing's all over the place. <coughs> Usually when I finish, it still works out, so don't get it twisted. But, sometimes, Especially when I've been like uh, chilling for a minute. Takes a little bit longer and the beat starts out a little bit slower, but I do it on the spot, on the fly, in one take, live, and uh, I try to do it in 90 minutes. Sometimes it goes over because uh, I'll be doing things like saving new sounds that I loaded. So I loaded those Musician Paradise patterns, and now that makes my already big file have to resave. Plus I'm gonna check the memory, make sure I'm not overdone on the memory, because I might be overdone on the memory. Sometime it gets like that. Uh, Alright, so dude, where are you at man? Is this file that big? I hate it when it takes like forever. 
kind of cool that I got a lot of gear, but I still don't be like waiting for, I don't like being, uh, waiting for the stuff to load. And it's already pretty fast. I mean, I think I was just watching a video of somebody doing um, the comparison and they were saying how the update 210 really puts this machine, the MPC-1, the Live, the Live 2, the X, in a whole nother ballpark. All right, so let's play this riff again. And let's go to, do I have anything on here? I don't have anything on here. Oops, let's uh, main, close. So I don't know if I like that plugin. Trippy. Is that all because I still have it on Echo? Oh my gosh, this thing's nuts. It's kind of cool to have all these features, but not when you get lost. All right, so I still got to do something with this track. Um, let's uh, let's see what else we got on sound. All right, so now it's going to be a chance for me to try something else. Um, you can come up here. You can go, is it here? And now you can go through and undo. So I'm going to undo, remove two events, guitar plug. Uh, nah, that looks a little dangerous. I think I'm going to take the easy way out and just clear. Delete this one, delete, and then see what we got. We got height, tube sense. All right, and so then let's change it to Solina and give Solina a try. rich I can't believe the force people had the sounds the whole time but it makes for a nice surprise and they're coming out with the keyboard version I might have to cop that I wanted to cop a, a X because I wanted to get the big screen I wonder if I could do something with this if I find a good enough chord. Nice sounding instrument. Classical. Oh, no, 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 no. We want to do something groovy or something, you know, cool sounding. Uh, what's there? Henry, I already did. Oh, my favorite. Hmm, I wonder if I could do something. There it is. All right, take a minute. Oh, I'm gonna have to drop it by itself. I can drop it by itself.
Okay, so this is a cool sound. I like the way it sounds. The easiest way to get it on the other track, to me, is bounce it to a sample. Bounce the sample. That's, I think that's the easiest way. Because now sequence two, it's still got that riff, but on sequence one, I can come here, um, add a new program. Do I have one? Do I have some space on one? None. One, two, three, four, five, six, urban, tech, program two. Okay. We'll put the bounce sample here. So this is the bounce sample. Oops. I changed the, the one that was on here. Uh, was it this one? Might have been S9. Gotta remember it. Yep, that's S9. Then this is the top loop. Okay, so that's working. And this is the first melody. Then the second riff. That's kind of rocking. At least the second half of that is rocking. And then this one. Oops. Let's do this one now. All right, so then the sound effect is here. Let's check it out. All right, so it's a mess that I need to fix. And then here we'll put the new one, which was new program. That took a long. Alright, so now let's take the new program and put it on note on and then put the sample on loop. Go to the main sample, put it on loop, go to the program edit sample, make sure it's all the way. Uh check the timing. The BPM says 120. And let's use the new feature, BPM detect, detect BPM, says 120, detect, would we'll double check it, uh, 75.37, hmm. It's pretty clean, so I think I'm going to try to play it straight, even though I played it without the drums. So this could be interesting. So it's got to tighten up a little bit. So I think the first thing we do is let's try a time stretch. And originally it said 120. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a gamble here. Originally it said 120, and I want to go to 122. So let's see if I'm guessing right. And if not, we'll backtrack and figure something else out. Yep. I guessed correctly. You win the prize. So now <clears throat> that it sounds halfway decent and mostly halfway decent, this beat is taking longer than I thought. Let's try a couple different flavors of it. That ain't gonna work. Um. Well, then, oh, let's try a key change. To what, though? Um, 
I don't even know what keys everything in. Well, you know what? We're going to keep going because uh, I'm all over the place with this beat. My sample groove that I took all this time to make using 2.10 stuff. So the beat's all over the place, but everyone's got to learn the new workflow at 2.10, so it ain't just me kind of snailing along. All right, so let's uh, check out the beat. All right, so I'm still not in love with this drum beat, so I'm going to continue to work on it. Actually, I'm going to put it on solo. That's how bad it is. Uh, what's going on here? It's still a short loop. Oh, I wonder if I stretch it out, if it'll break everything. All right, so let's save where we are. I'm going to try something. I built this beat with it at the halfway point, but if I move it all the way out, It sounds way worse, so I'm going to do undo, undo, and I'm going to fix it a different kind of way. So we'll go to the sample page, and here I can do, I can kill it, right? Or I can stretch it. Let's First, let's try a level adjust just to see if we can do something basic. So I'm going to do another record animation, and it's going to go like this. I'm going to have to do something more drastic. All right. So what the other thing you can do to make your life a lot easier is go to that one pad, put an effect on it. And the effect that I like to use is one of the equalizers, um, EQ equalizers. I think parametric kill EQ might be the fastest. So here's how it sounds. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna do an animation. It's on animation there. Take it. I oh, will leave it on solo. That might make it easier to hear it out. Put it on program edit. Go to edit the kill EQ, and we're gonna live edit that kill EQ. So that gave it a lot of variety. Let's see how it sounds all together. So that leaves me actually a lot of room, which is not bad because I think I have, <clears throat> I have a, a program that has a, loops on it like straight up loops oh, i was going to check the size 73 percent uh we're pushing it baby okay so let's find that kit that's all loops or this one and let's put a loop like that the best so let's go to the sample page let's check the bpm why is it not showing the bpm well it says 127 so we don't got to guess 127 to 122 do it do it 
main program edit note on sample full loop loop main record play <laughs> So this is another little like uh, effect, but I'm thinking if I keep that effect and then I put this one up here, this beat here, go to program edit, go to effects, go to parametric. Parametric is not the one that's going to work here. It's got to be kill. That's what I want, but I need it to sound better than it sounds. So we're going to come up to the envelopes, go to the um, doo -doo 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 -doo, cutoff. Uh, put, put a low pass eight, maybe. No, low eight's going to be too low. Uh, low one. Low one. All right, low two, I guess. Hmm. All right, so let's try band pass four. None of these sound clean. Man, we're struggling today. All right, let's check it again. Effects, mid, bring the mid back maybe. And then go to the envelope cutoff. And put this on we'll try high to see what happens so high two includes the highs so then low four should be perfect right all right so we're going to drop this in I totally didn't hear it, which is, oh, maybe something's on the mute groups, mute group one. All right. So now we'll take out the original drums, take out the sample, take out the effects, and just play the new drum in the top. Uh, I'm going to need a little bit more loop. So, loop needs to be on note on, and sample needs to be on loop, and then the original sample needs to be on loop main. We're going to re record it. We gotta play it off. All right, so that'll be my drum loop. And then this other drum loop, now I can do some surgery on it. Let's go back to it. All right, so we're going to re-record it. I 
sounds like it started to drift. It started to drift, so I'm going to have to record it live. Alright, so now we got the drums. Let's play it with one of the riffs. So I like the second half of that more than I like the first. So one thing I wanted to try is I only like two through four. And I think you can do start the sequence so I can't do it there I can oh I could edit the wave where is sound at let's maybe piano bar One thing I used to do is stretch and cut the individual pieces, but um, I don't think it's worth changing it. It's just this sounds too clean as is, so I'm going to keep it as is for now. Sorry, y'all are in. And we're still doing good on battery. And okay, so uh, let's keep that riff. Let's try this extra track. So that sounds good, just a little loud. So let's go in and fix that uh, here. Oh man, did it too much. That sucks. That's all right. It's easy to fix. So process. Game change. I gotta go back the other way because I did too much. Okay, so I like all this, but I think I need some cleaner sounds. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um first thing I'm gonna do is find a new track. I'm going to drop some kicks. So that sounds awesome, but too much. So now I'm going to come in here and do parametric and tone it down. I think this radio works. Let's check it again. Whoa, 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 what's going on? Uh, main uh, effects here. Oh, you know what works really good? What works really good here is a nice channel strip. So 
let's kill some of the noise. Kill that noise. Kill that one. It's like a super funky uh, drum. <laughs> it's actually kind of cool because you hear it and it's kind of messy, but it's, it vibes really hard. that this guy well I'm gonna have to fix it okay so everything's showing off all my uh, editing skills today so that sound Maybe it starts slow. I'm gonna have to clean it. So maybe here. Oh man. All right, we can fix it. All right, so here's where this new, no, we don't want game change, dude, go back. Here's where this new device shines. I'm gonna show you. First, we're gonna get rid of the front piece. Then I'm gonna try to add to the tail piece, if we can do it right. So, all right, so to add to the tail, Got to do it on the program page. I don't remember being on the program page. Got to put on the pad page. That's the sound. There's threshold, there's drop. Hmm. All right, so that's not what it should be doing. Unless the loop is wrong. Dude, are you screwing up? So you take the sound, you go to program edit, and let's check it. Level, velocity, note on, sample, envelope, LFO, Modulation effects. So there's no effects. I think it's screwing up. Because it's only playing that part. Uh oh. Am I having ears? This is what everybody's talking about? All right. So let's see what's the fastest way to fix this. The fastest way to fix this is to re record. That's not a good sign. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's going on? Come on, dude. Think, uh... That sound... So something happened to this sound. This one. Tech loop four, right? Tech loop... Tech loop TH drum Rex. So it's that sound. So I'm going to clear the pad. 
and I'm going to reload it. Still screwing up. Wow, so something, something definitely screwed up. Okay, this is not fun anymore. You are messing up my party. All right, so let's uh, let's save because I think uh, Siri, nobody's talking to you. Me and NPC One are having a thing. We're trying to figure it out. All right, so then let's go to sample edit. Let's pretend it's when I cut it. I wonder if we can go back. All right, let's try to go back. So to go. Now go back would be too far. So take it off loop lock. So it thinks the sample is that small. That's what it thinks, right? It thinks the sample is that small. I don't think I'm gonna spend a lot of time on it. Cause I can just load another sound. I got a thousand sounds. Looks like looks like you're gonna make the cut, Mr. So sample edit. It's 127. We're gonna do the same thing. Uh-oh. Some people are saying they're having trouble with 2.10. That's why I don't do updates all the time, but this is too much functionality. A few bugs, I can live with it because it's some serious functionality additions. It puts it, this device in a whole nother ballpark all right so we just uh we're gonna bypass what just happened and take two so it sounds a little slow i think what i'm gonna do is put it back on loop lock And we'll just do it by hand. I gotta. So it's too slow. So then we would tune it. All right, we'll try tuning it. Man, it's like it's a tad bit off. Well, let's try two. All of that to get that little bit. Yep, sometimes it's like that. And it doesn't even go. All right, so we got to build some more beats because uh, none of these are driving hard enough. But I do like where I'm at in the groove. Yeah, I was 
fix all those vocals. That sucks. Okay, so uh, to fix those vocals, you go to Program Edit. You make it Note On. And see if it works. So it's kind of a weird vocal, but this music song is all over the place anyway, so I might as well keep going. Still doing good on battery life. Uh all right, what else we got? We'll do the funky stuff because uh, we'll make it like a classic house sound. So note on there, program edit, oops, sample edit, loop. Oh man. Watch come out super funky. <laughs> all these, all these steps. That's why you got to get NPC one, because it's actually just fun messing around. Check it out. <laughs> it sounds silly, but it's all about making beats, people. I mean, where are we at now? We're at, it's probably 18 months, 19 months for me, year and a half since it's been out. And I started from scratch, first MPC hardware. I had MPC software, the iPad, MPC1, MPC2, plus I had a ton of cork stuff, boss stuff, rolling stuff. Still got a, still got a nice setup rolling gear that I barely use because I'm still learning the MPC one. All right, so that's a jamming little sound. Can't scream all the time, no lady. All right, no more vocals, people. Can have fun. There's my hat right there.
I'm going to take this sound here, put it on note on, put it on 16th level, and drop something. Sounds a little stringy pad. Let's keep going. Oh, let's do the Musician Paradise bass key group. So key group and then oh, key group and then Musician Paradise sound. And then go low. And then find a bass riff. I think there is a guitar, R&B. I guess we'll have to use guitar, guitar jazz. I wonder if I can do glides. Can I do glides from here? Chords, progressions. Vex um, Portamento. All right, so to do glides, it was turn on the legato. And then, was it time? Yeah, it is time. Was it amp? No, it wasn't amp. Oh, oh, it was mono, right? It has to be on mm, poly mono, right? I think that was it. It had to be on. Drop something. Alright, listen to a solo. Wow, 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 wow,
Oh, I can't do no though. Maybe it's gotta be one shot. Let's see if it's one shot. I mean, if it's uh, you can't have it on note on. Wow, I have to practice you guys. Sorry about that. That's almost it. mistaken it was Dr. Mix. Might have been Lifted Noise. I watch a lot of videos. Um, is they took this sound and they put the vocal effects on it because the vocal effects can double it. So let's see. Let's see what it sounds like. <laughs> This beat is going. It's all over the place. So maybe I can just use my super awesome advanced like DJ mixing skills and save this beat somehow. Don't know how, but let's see what else we got. Okay, so nothing there. I think we're on nine, right? This sounds cool. So, because I like uh, doing fun stuff, it says 80 BPM. I'm going to time stretch. I'm not going to time stretch it. Uh, that sucks. Why am I not able to time stretch it? You suck. Oh, maybe that's what that's for. All right, so let's do note on and go to the beat. Kill this bass. Then let's do some some editing on this bass. We need to carve out some space.
that's 16 tracks already. And I think I need a few more because uh, this beats all over the place. But I think I could salvage it. I think I hear some stuff. Some usable stuff. Let's keep going. Sounds so cool, but got to do something with it. Um, I think I think we're gonna start doing compressors on everything. Maybe that's that's how we'll clean this beat up. Coolest thing about this machine is all the different effects. Still sounds too loud to me. Oh, sucks, sucks, sucks. Um. Actually. Change this one to ping pong. And I think something else is going on too. I gotta check my, my stereo. Cause I think I'm I think I lost my stereo somewhere. Ah, equipment, 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 gears, gear, stuff, stuff. Let's save. I haven't saved in a minute. Yeah, I'm gonna start wrapping this thing up because it's all over the place. And it's two dot ten. Has me like um like in the wrong place in terms of uh grooving. But the cool thing is I like my gear. I wouldn't trade it. So let's uh let's keep going. Oop, gotta go forward. like that so low end loop uh come on mr fancy machine let's see if you can save me now where's my bpm dude trim this way 6350 so 6350 if you double it, it's 127 i don't know why it does have these it's kind of weird sometimes oh maybe it's just getting it wrong 127 yeah i guess maybe just it's a harmonic of it. All right, so we'll do 122. Then go to back to the front page, put it on loop, go to the program mode, put it on note on, go to sample, put it on loop, go to main, hit record. So I just recorded a different drum track, so I'm going to turn off these drums, all of them, and just play it with the bass. Then let's turn this one off.
sounds pretty mean, like aggressive. Which isn't a problem. I just need a few more, maybe mid sounds or a few more soft sounds. But this is a nice little drum alternate, if I do say so myself. Let's just do a solo real quick. So, I think for a beat, we're still using these guys. I think that's still the right, the right groove, the right main groove. That sounds like a nice intro. It's not an intro, it's like some kind of horn. It sounds kind of cool though. I'm going to keep it. That gives it a really kind of a, um, um, this is kind of like a high horn. It gives it a really kind of like a nice little groove. And I'm going to play, if I play this piano piece next, this one, no, where'd it go? I gotta drop these two now. Crap. This one has to drop. Has to drop. Man, I thought I heard something else too.
got a main groove. Uh, wow, that's it. Is that noisy? <laughs> Maybe transpose it. Hmm. And it's too too much space. So I gotta get rid of that. Hmm. So I got all these beats and I got all these sounds and they're all over the place. Yes, I got rusty. It was only like a, it only took like a week off. I put up an old video. I already got a thumbs down, but that's how it is. I gotta put up. I gotta make a new one. All right, so we're keeping that. We're gonna keep going. Cool sounds, but I think it's already crazy enough. That's a nice little background sound. See, we can do some simple stuff. Nice and simple. All right. One more. Oops. Low memory. Yeah, I know, I know. We got one more we're doing anyway. All right, so I think we used up all the sounds. Let's just check and see if there's any highs.
would be a nice little filler. I don't know what I'm going to do with all these beats, but I guess we'll find out in about five minutes because I'm running out of time. All right. So uh, I'll just load uh, one more track. And nothing there. All right, so that's everything on that side. We'll just go through uh plugins and then which one did we didn't use i think it was tube sent oh no we used them all all right so uh yeah all right we're gonna start mixing it with what we got that's how it's gonna be all right so to start this party off uh do i have anything on track 26 no right no oh. I don't have anything on track 26. Let's put something on track 26. Well, let's go back to hype. Oh, I can't do hype. Uh, so let's do trumpet. Trumpet on notes. Turned up a little bit. This is what I learned from, was it Polly Popo? I think it was Polly Popo, where he said if you just use the black keys, it'll always come out melodic. So let's test that theory. Let's put a, let's put a, take it off solo, go back to here. And he said you could always just do those notes and it'll always come out on tone in tune. So let's try it. Well the instrument isn't that good, but I think the process works. Alright, let's try it. Sounds like the process works. Now we just need a better sound. I don't think strings gonna work, buddy. Maybe ambient. That's not fast enough. That's too scary. That's too distant. It's kind of nice to have a thousand sounds, but not when you can't find one that you like. I guess that's what happens when you have. We'll use violin.
All right, I think I'm going to keep it a simple stab because uh, I don't really feel what I need to feel. But let's see if I can turn it into a jam before I run out of battery power, which I usually can do. All right, so we're going to start with maybe this guy. That's where we're going to start, people. Sequence three, right? Yep. Yeah, okay, cool. So there's the start. We're just going to jump, jump straight in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this sequence and I'm going to manually put in the vocals. So I'm going to go to here and I'm going to cue the vocals. didn't work. Undo. Okay, I don't know where I'm going to go from here. Uh, I guess I could uh, drop some stuff, right? I can maybe... She's talking too much, so maybe different drum. Oh, that's what we do. We'll just do this. We'll do one without her yelling. That's how we solve that. So then this one goes... We have a choice, people. We got to go back to this lady yelling again. Otherwise, the beat won't sound consistent. So then she goes. <laughs>
so we're going to just back it down a little bit. Give me some room to play. Trying to find something to go. Maybe vocals? it up but I'm gonna do it anyway just because I think it makes for a variation it'll go <laughs> I gotta do something with the with that sequence. So we'll switch it to let's see if the pad work. Not yet. So stab. Yep, that's it right there. We'll slow the beat down. We'll slow it down a little bit. And we're running into a low battery. So, I gotta find my charger. And I gotta put it over. Messing up the camera footage, which I just did. Now, let's uh, keep going because it'll keep filming. All right. So then now, the speed is going to go. At least it'll sound a little majestic. It's not where I want it to be, but you know what? We're just gonna roll with it. It'll be an abrupt change, but Today's beat is kind of all over the place anyway, so. At least it's starting to sound like seriously funky. At least to me. So now maybe I'll write this out a few bars because that that melody sounds good enough to sustain. And I think I'm gonna try a different thing. <laughs>
kind of got a nice little groove going. Let me see if I can flesh it out. Found something that goes. Yay. Yay me. but it's gonna go check it out check it out as Matthew would say <laughs> Next one, we'll kick out the vocals and just listen to that beat real quick. Come on, Project. Oh, you're struggling. You, you and me both. Kill the vocals on this one. That works. So let's just do a whole bar of that. I don't know why my thing is that way, but so we'll do a whole bar of that, right? So then we'll do a whole bar of this. Then hopefully we can bring it up with something really banging. So let's see. Do I keep the piano going or do I just change the kick? Let's see if we can just bring the kicks in. they would say because now I got this no beat and I got a sound that I got to kill
It's going to take the beat in a different groove, but maybe you can jazz it up and it'll still come out all right. I need uh I need some more kick, but I'm not gonna make no more kick, not today. I'm just gonna go I think I hear a nice switch up. Pretty basic, but. Let's see if I can uh, if I can switch this up one time by going like this. Yeah, I'm gonna fake it. I'm gonna do that one time, right? And then. Here to end it already. It's gonna go to just the horn. See if I can end it. already hear it. I'm just going to see if it works. I'm going to play the horn one more time with everything else gone. Or maybe I'll back it out with the last track. Let's see which sounds better. So let's go to the first.
All right, so that's going to be the end right there. Wow, that was a lot of tracking, man. But that's how it goes sometimes. Gonna hurry up before I run out of video footage. Go to the main, save this puppy, and then we'll see if we can get this beat going. Hopefully, hopefully we can get it going. All right, so let's. All right, so let's go to song mode. And I've got an unnamed song from who knows where. So I'm just gonna go to the next song. And then we hit overdub and we're gonna go start. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Thanks, B. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, three, two, three, two, four, six, and seven. In. The only one I thought I missed was fourteen. I did miss fourteen. Dude, that sucks. Okay, so let's go 13. Let's go insert. Let's go here. And let's change it to 14. So we go to let's change to 14. We'll go to bank up one. 14. Shift save this puppy. And when it and stops recording. Or save and 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 save
as I go. See you next time. DJ Sharp C. Peace.